Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Today, I want to talk to you about measuring things with your iPhone. Sometimes, technology is way ahead of you. You already have the technology, you just didn't know you needed it. I had that at work this week, when I needed to measure up my new office to put carpet in it. The library at the school that I work at is about to be refurbished. So we've had to move the library, a computer lab, and the staff work areas to a temporary location. The library is squished into a classroom, and the computer lab is in what used to be a ceramics room next door. And my office is the room where the kilns were. The floor in that room was 20 to 50 year old lino, with cracks, patches, and holes in it everywhere, where different things had been moved around over the years. It really just wasn't that safe, and it was really, really loud. Heather, the head of our library, suggested we cut a slab of the carpet out of the old library and move it into my office. Genius. It's a great free solution. Perfect as it's only for six-ish months. And then this building that we're moving into temporarily is going to be demolished. We have a lot of building works going on. Hmm, okay, we need to measure the size of the room for the carpet. Wait, doesn't the iPhone have an app for that? Yes, it does, and it's been there since 2018 and I've just never had cause to use it. Introducing the Measure app, an augmented reality app for measuring things. When you first open the app in a new location, you get a notification to move the iPhone around to give it a sense of the space you're in. From there, it asks you to move closer if required and then find a nearby surface to measure. I gave it a full 360 degree sweep of the room, just because I could. From here, the idea is to line up the dot in the middle of the circle with the point you want to measure from. Then click the big plus button to add a point. You then move to the next point and press plus again. It draws a line with the length of that line on it. You can continue on to add another point by pressing plus with the last dot inside the circle. Press plus and work your way around the room. I did that. Sweeping around the room, capturing all the dimensions, including the box that we've left there full of old ceramic powders because it's simply too heavy to move. I thought when I got to the end it might actually give me a nice neat plan of the room, but maybe that's asking a bit too much. So I went back around the room taking photos of all the dimensions using the camera button down the bottom right. I then took all of those numbers, rounded them up a bit for safety, and made a quick plan. Bob from maintenance cut the carpet out and I shipped it down to the new office using two trolleys. We dropped the carpet in and it fit pretty much perfectly. I was then able to move some of my furniture back in, ready to set up again on Monday. Since then, I've learned you can actually tweak the location of a dot simply by moving it around on the screen with your finger. And so I did a few tests to check exactly how accurate the measurement is. This measurement on the ruler was pretty accurate, although it's actually really hard to see where the 30 centimeter point on the ruler is. There's another feature that will detect rectangular objects. It will give you the length and the width and calculate the area of the rectangle for you. In this case, it wasn't terribly accurate, although I didn't really spend much time to get it right because it was just a quick and dirty test. And also we know that all Minecraft blocks are one meter by one meter by one meter anyway. There's also a level function where you can stand the phone on its edge and it will measure how level a surface is. Or you can lay it down and it will create a bubble for measuring a flat surface. I used to use this when we had a caravan via a third party app so that we could make sure the caravan was level because the fridge worked better that way and it was better for sleeping too. I will say the buttons on the side of the phone and possibly your case may throw this out just a little bit depending on which phone you have and how you stand it or lay it down. In general, it's probably close enough. So there you have it, another thing your iPhone can replace, even if it's not 100% accurate. It will likely to be good enough to work out if that cabinet you want to buy will fit in your room, as long as you spend a couple of minutes getting the angle of view right when you're measuring. Good lighting also helps. Question of the day, can you see yourself using this app? Also, Android users, do you have something similar? Let me know in the comments below. And if this video was useful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. 
The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, or to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.